Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn very small, small concepts like what is, what you see is what you get, different type of graphics, margins, fonts, frames, and in next video, we will see the frame too. So these are the small concepts that we are going to see in this video one by one. So the very first one is what you see is what you get. So these are those program that will display exactly what will you get when you print the document. For example, if you make something on Microsoft Word, the way you make it, the margins, the you know, distance between two lines, the distance between two words, exactly what you see there is what you get when it's get printed. So those kind of programs or software are known as what you see is what you get. So what is its form, uh, what is its full form? What you see is what you get. How do we pronounce it? WYSIWYG, WYS E WYG. What is its full form? Uh, what is its definition? What you see is what you get is a program or a software that allows you to see on the display screen exactly what you will get at end result when the document is printed. What is the advantage of desktop publishing? So earlier I told you in the newspaper when we need you know uh, print the newspaper first we print the text then we used to print the graphics then we used to cut the graphics and put it on the paper with the text then we used to copy that to make multiple newspaper but now with the help of desktop publishing the productivity is increased the time has decreased the cost has decreased creativity is increased appearance of document is enhanced and you can customize the documents very easily so this all happened because of the desktop publishing apps Next is graphic. So what is graphic? It is visual representation of an object. So graphic is image of an object or visual representation of an object. So we use graphics with text, characters, numbers, letters to make our, you know, the resumes, the magazines, the uh, newspaper, all these things. Graphics are of two types, two-dimensional and three-dimensional. So earlier we used to have 2D. Later on, color pictures come into play, 2D color pictures. Then later on, we got 3D graphics also. There are two types of 2D computer graphic. One is bitmap. Second is vector. Bitmap is also known as raster graphics. So in the bitmap images dot bmp, in those images, we have pixels. So when you zoom in, see this is the picture. When you zoom in, you get small squares. The images is made up of small squares. And each square is known as pixel. This is known as pixel. So if you want to edit the bitmap image, you add it a pixel. The software examples are Adobe Photoshop. The quality of image depends on how many pixels are there per square inch. PSI. In per square inch, how many squares are there? If there are more squares, of course, if you will zoom in, it, the quality will be better than if you have less number of pixels per square. So if we want to enlarge it, it loses the quality. The size of the picture is going to be more than the vector graphics. Why the size will be more? Because it is going to store the information of every pixel. So this is all about bitmap. Now let's come to the vector. In bitmap, the images are consist of pixels. In vector, images are consist of lines, curves and points. 
so if you zoom in these lines curves and points form new relationship therefore the quality is more than the bitmap it seems that it will have more size but it has less size than the bitmap because it doesn't have to store data of every pixel its size depend on the detail in the image the vector graphics softwares are adobe illustrator corel draw etc so this is all about vector graphics let us see the difference between vector and bitmap so in vector you have seen it is made up of points lines and curves bitmap is made up of pixels so if you want to edit here you edit the individual objects here you edit the individual pixel vector graphic images are small these are large so vector graphic size depends on the details of those objects and it depends on the pixel how many pixels are there and it needs to store the information of every pixel that is why its size is big so when you zoom in when you resize when you enlarge it loses the quality and this vector do not loses the quality and bitmap loses the quality example of file formats are .svg .ai .eps .bmp bitmap jpeg gif tiff png are the example of bitmap now comes the other small topic that is 3d graphics so we have learned about 2d this is the 2d there are 2d two types of 2d computer graphic one is bitmap and other is vector we have seen the difference between them you can also add the softwares here for this the software is adobe photoshop and for this the softwares are adobe illustrator and the corel draw so you can add it here another point now 3d graphics if we have three dimensions length width height or we can say height or the depth same thing then it is 3d if it is just have two dimensions then we say 2d two dimensions so in 1990s we get 3d rendering softwares like cad 3d animation programs in 2000 we get enough processing power enough cpu power to support the 3d graphics so in our computers laptops nowadays we have 3d video card so this is 3d and 2d dimensions graphic next come margin what is the definition of margin a margin is the space between the text suppose here i am writing something so the distance between the text and the edge of the document this is known as margin this is known as margin there is a top margin left margin bottom margin right margin by default it is 1 inch this is 1 inch this is known as normal margin this is known as normal margin next comes gutter position what is gutter position so if you make some document and you want to bind it you want to bind it suppose you want to bind it with the hard cover or you want to bind it with the spiral then there should be some extra margin on the left hand side of the document if it's a portrait and if it's a landscape and you want the binding on the top then it should be a top margin so either should be a side margin or a top margin extra so that if you do the binding process it will the text will not hidden next come font what is font font has a specific style and a size it has a specific style and a size font is combination of typeface 
and other qualities. Now, what are those other qualities? The size, the style, the pitch, the spacing, all these things. So, font is the combination of typeface and other things. So, what is typeface? Typeface is set of character of the same design. So, if I will say Arial. So, Arial is not a font. Arial is a typeface. Arial is a typeface. If I say Arial 12 point bold, then it is a font because I am type telling you the typeface and other qualities, other things. So, then it will be a font. So, Arial, Times, Verdana, Helvetica, these all are typeface. If I am adding the styling also with it, then it becomes the font. Then it becomes the font. So, Verdana is a typeface. 10 point bold, if I will add the styling also, other thing also, then it becomes the font. So, what is font? Characters in a specific style and size is a font. What is typeface? Set of characters of same design is a typeface. Difference you can check out from here. Next is frame. So when we have a desktop publishing softwares, we use frames. In frames, it's easy to put the text, to put the images. You can resize the frame. All the other things get resized accordingly. It can be of any shape. It can be rectangle, square, circle. It can be some curvy or it can be of different size. So you have complete control over the page design using the frames. So these are the areas where you can put the graphics, pictures, tables, text, anything. So these are these areas so you make frames where you can put the stuff in it different kind of stuff in next class in next video we are going to learn about printers impact printer non-impact printer let us see what we have done in this video we have learned about what you see is what you get feature graphic is visual representation of an object there are two type of graphics 2d and 3d there are two types of 2D graphics, bitmap and vector. vector. Bitmap is made up of pixel, vector is made up of point lines and curves. These are the differences. 2D and 3D, 3D we have seen here. Then margins, margins is this. Space between the text and the edge of the document. Normal, it normal, that is one inch. Gutter, margin or gutter position is the extra space on the side or on the top for the binding font is the specific style and size of a character typeface is the same design the set of characters of the same design so verdana is a typeface verdana 10 point bold is a font then we have seen the frames these are the these boxes that where we can uh, insert the graphics pictures tables text it gives you the complete control over the page design. It can be of any shape or the size. So, in the next video, we will see the printers, different type of printers, what is the difference between them, all these things. So, revise what we studied. It is not like doing something practically. It is more like the concepts. So, check out. We will meet in the next class, next video. Bye-bye. Take care.